In 2025, Russia's lunar exploration agenda began a new chapter following a period of thorough re-evaluation that began after the partial failure of the Luna 25 mission in 2023. The mission, which was the first Russian spacecraft to reach the moon in nearly half a century, ended abruptly when contact was lost during an orbital maneuver, resulting in the probe crashing on the lunar surface. However, that failure held valuable lessons that have since been incorporated into a national strategy that is more deliberate and technologically based. Russia's plan to return to exploring deep space is shown by the updated lunar program, which aims to carry out seven different automatic missions by late 2025 to study various aspects of the moon, such as its orbit, surface, resources, and infrastructure. Launched in August 2023, the Luna 25 mission successfully entered lunar orbit and began transmitting data and images. These successes served as confirmation of the post-Soviet Russian deep space infrastructure's resilience. The probe's contact with the lunar surface was the consequence of an incorrect command sequence that caused engine overthrust during the final pre-landing stage. A detailed technical investigation by Roscosmos and its partners, like the Keldish Research Center and NPO Lavashkin, found that the failure was due to problems in the orbital control system and old software design. The announcement of the Special Commission's findings in early 2024 was crucial. They created a detailed plan for improvements that included using automated checks, advanced simulations for orbital maneuvers, and updates to the flight control methods. Furthermore, future mission designs were updated to incorporate new protocols for in-orbit telemetry correction. Based on these reforms, the Luna 26 and Luna 27 programs were redesigned. This process represented an internal reset for the Russian aerospace sector, with the objective of re-establishing reliability as the primary indicator of progress. At NPO Lavochkin near Moscow, the construction of Luna 26 began in earnest in 2024. By autumn 2025, the scientific payload, power modules, and orbital navigation subsystems were in the process of being assembled. Luna 26, which is scheduled for launch in 2028, will not attempt a landing. Instead, it will function as a long-term orbital observatory in a polar trajectory around the Moon. With a mass of approximately 2.2 tons, Luna 26 is an evolution of Russian deep space platforms optimized for protracted missions in high radiation conditions. The spacecraft will produce topographic maps of unparalleled precision, resolving features as small as 2 to 3 meters while orbiting the moon at altitudes ranging from 50 to 80 kilometers during its initial operational phase. It is anticipated that the spacecraft will continue to operate for an additional two years after it moves to a more stable orbit at approximately 150 kilometers, which will occur about one year into the mission. The mission also has a critical communications objective to serve as a relay between Earth and subsequent surface missions, particularly Luna 27. This method resembles some of the practices that have been established by other space agencies, but it also incorporates unique Russian design principles that prioritize radiation tolerance and independence from Western-sourced components. The scientific package of the mission comprises spectrometers, magnetometers, and neutron detectors, which are designed to characterize mineral distributions and identify potential water ice areas in the lunar regolith. These are critical components of the identification of future landing zones and resource deposits for a permanent presence. Luna 27A and Luna 27B, collectively known as Luna 27, are the main surface missions of the new Russian lunar plan, following Luna 26. These twin landers will each be equipped with a descent module that is specifically designed to conduct automated drilling and surface chemistry investigations in the polar regions of the Moon. The module is expected to be directed toward areas near the North and South Poles that have been identified as potential water ice reservoirs. 
The hardware for the first model was incorporated into component assembly in mid-2025, and the second unit was fabricated shortly thereafter. Their launches are currently scheduled for the period of 2029 to 2030. Luna 27 will mark the first use of the Angora A5 rocket for interplanetary flights, in contrast to previous missions that utilized Soyuz 2 launchers. This modification improves the flexibility of the payload and aligns Russia's lunar endeavors with its overarching strategy of transitioning from Baikonur Cosmodrome and relocating interplanetary launches to domestic spaceports, with Vostochny serving as the primary location. The Luna 27 landers will be equipped with a modular architecture that ensures a high degree of onboard autonomy. This includes the use of radar altimetry and hazard avoidance sensors to facilitate precise landings, technologies that are currently being co-developed with civilian AI centers in Moscow and St. Petersburg. By working together, the Space Research Institute of the Russian Academy of Sciences and Roscosmos ground teams are mapping slopes and studying how light changes at the lunar south pole to find the best places that get enough sunlight. In addition to Luna 26 and Luna 27, Russia's revised lunar roadmap anticipates the development of four additional probes for launch after 2026. Official statements from Roscosmos have outlined early plans for these spacecraft, which will include missions to carry cargo, a satellite for communication, and a small robot to test movement systems for future work with China's lunar base project although the specific names of these missions are still being developed. Each mission is designed as a component of a scalable architecture that is intended to facilitate Russia's involvement in the Sino-Russian International Lunar Research Station, a project that is designed to create a permanent, crew-capable infrastructure on the Moon's surface by the 2030s. It is expected that Russia will contribute modular power and communications elements to the framework, which will be based on its experience with Luna 27 operations. The logic of classic Soviet-era deep space programs is reflected in this incremental but steady approach, which involves the gradual establishment of capability rather than the pursuit of rapid, risk-laden leaps. Russian experts emphasize that the order of the missions is driven not by a desire for recognition, but by the goal of rebuilding knowledge and ensuring that future crewed missions rely on proven technology instead of rushed timeline. Technological self-sufficiency is a fundamental component of the revised lunar strategy. The Russian space industry encountered severe shortages of imported precision instruments and microelectronics as a result of the sanctions implemented in 2022. NII Progress, Angstrom, and Micron have teamed up to quickly develop processors, control units, and high-frequency transceivers that can resist radiation as a response. Although these endeavors have prolonged the development timeline, they have also protected Russia's lunar ambitions from international supply restrictions. This policy has led to a comprehensive realignment within Roscosmos, favoring an indigenous electronic component base. Starting with Luna 26, Russia will almost exclusively manufacture the avionics and communication payloads of all subsequent lunar spacecraft. The establishment of the Foundations for Enduring Space Independence was facilitated by this adjustment, which initially resulted in a delay of several years in launch dates. Engineers have prioritized endurance and reliability over launch frequency, which is indicative of a long-term philosophy that technological sovereignty is more important than transient schedule gains. Russia prioritizes sustainability over speed, despite its current position in the new lunar race being behind the United States and China. The Soviet Union was once the undisputed pioneer of lunar exploration, having successfully completed the first soft landing and first sample return missions with Luna 9 and Luna 16, respectively. The current generation of Russian engineers and scientists is consciously endeavoring to reconstruct that heritage from the ground up, combining revived ambition with circumspect engineering.
Today's program maintains the tradition of Lavochkin's classic lunar crafts in terms of design and tone, while incorporating contemporary automation and communication technology. The objective is to achieve more than a successful soft landing by 2030. The scientific community in Russia is striving to accomplish operational mastery of in situ sampling, automatic descent control, lunar orbit insertion, and multi hop communication. Each of these is a critical prerequisite for the decade's ultimate objective the deployment of infrastructure and joint crewed exploration within the International Lunar Research Station framework. Director General Yuri Borisov observed that the future of Russia's moon programs is dependent on systematic reliability rather than spectacular firsts. The quiet persistence of scientific work, discipline, and perseverance established the guiding philosophy of Roscosmos's lunar rebirth. In conclusion, Luna 24, which was launched in 1976, and Luna 25, which was launched in 2023, were separated by nearly 50 years. While the initial effort of Russia's modern era was prematurely terminated, it sparked a process of renewal that is now evident in data laboratories and manufacturing halls throughout the nation. The nation anticipates the successful re-establishment of a functional lunar orbiting mission by 2028, followed by a successful soft landing early in the next decade, provided that the revised timeline is maintained. In a world where technological prestige is increasingly defined by lunar exploration, Russia's revived lunar pathway trades speed for self-reliance, a trade that may prove strategically prudent in the long run. Once a site of Cold War rivalry, the moon now measures a nation's ability to innovate patiently. Russia is establishing a return that is rooted in resilience and vision, rather than a race, as we progress through Luna 26, Luna 27, and the subsequent missions. If you think the video was informative, please like, subscribe, and share. Please also take membership of the channel to encourage us